away and this is just going to be a quick sort of introduction really to um, Swans University and and what it would be like studying um, at the sort of topics um, as an undergraduate or perhaps postgraduate within our faculty. First of all, you know, very kind of basic in terms of logistics, you know, where is Swansea University? We are in the southwest of, of Wales and actually it's, um, it's a perfect location once, you, once you're here, um, you know, in terms of the, you've got fantastic access to beaches, you know, fantastic location, but also we've got great access links. So we're very accessible to London major airports like Heathrow, Gatwick um, and likewise once you are in Swansea, very easy to travel further around the UK to mo make the most of your time within the UK and you can see um, yes very accessible either by car or, or by train really and city of Swansea very very nice although I'm perhaps a little bit um, a little bit biased we are um, a fantastic oh sorry are we having issues Oh, I'm not sure whether my internet has dropped. There she is. Good, she is. good morning. Ap <laughs> apologies, um, as luck would have it, my, my internet's dropped out, but hopefully you'll be able to hear me and see me again now. Um, yes. So I, I will, fantastic. I'll reshare my screen and um, apologies for that, but we'll start where we, where we left off. OK, so back to the, the city of Swansea, you know, we are a fantastic city right by the sea and we, you know, we are one of the most welcoming and friendly sort of cities and, um, you know, we are a relatively very safe environment and also perhaps one of the key things, particularly if you do have additional costs as an international student, we are one of the most affordable university towns, so you are really able to, you know, enjoy living here. Um, you know, accommodation, but also enjoy, make the most of your time. So enjoy those sort of cultural, um, cultural and entertainment activities. For example, some of our sporting facilities, and also just you know the music and culture that we have, um, thanks to some of our fantastic new arenas in the city. And very good question, which you might well be asked as agents for some of the applicants who are perhaps considering Swansea as a location to come to. Um, student life is 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 fantastic. We do have, well, it says over 100, 100 student societies. I do believe it's closer to 150 now. Um, and it's a fantastic starting point, really, for, for your students to make that friendship group with like-minded individuals. So, you know, it, it's certainly very easy to network and make friends. Um, we've got the camp, you know, the campus location is really ideal for both, you know, just studying and general lifestyle. You know, the beach is is phenomenal. And uh, when we say that we are the closest university to a beach, that is absolutely no, ex no exaggeration, which you will see in a picture in a moment. Um, so they're fantastic you know, opportunities here for the students, whether they are interested in outdoor activities or more cultural things like you know, muse museums, we've got all of that just within Swansea and also very easily accessible further in the UK, you know, Wales, England, um, Ireland and Scotland if they do ch choose to ch travel a little bit farther. And this is an image to give you an idea really of our both campuses. The top image is our Singleton campus and that is really where our faculty is, is based. So any sort of students who would be studying some of our you know, medicine, health or life science courses would really be based at the Singleton campus. And below we've got the Bay campus and you can see both campuses are really right, right on, on the beach and with fantastic you know, facilities. And as you, as you can see here, it is literally just one mile from the city centre, um, you know, very, very accessible. And out of over those sort of 20,000 students, we do have 3,500 oh, know, plus international students as a part of that cohort. So, you know, international students are just a very intricate part of of our cohort and um, we are a very international campus and also city. This was just a nice very brief image just to give you an idea really of what Swan you know how Swansea is situated in terms of the beach but also how it sits within our landscape um, you know you can see get an idea of our campus just to the left we've got the green of our sports facilities which are very you know very extensive and then we've got a nice park facility for students just to have some relaxation and some you know wind down time after classes. 
And facilities, I focus predominantly on really our singleton campus facilities, as that is where our faculty is, is based. And you can see from the, from the list here, between the canteen, supermarkets, um, entertainment facilities, and th you know, facilities that you would need as part of your student life, whether that's library or you know, the doctor's surgery, all of that is within Singleton. So you know, everything is, is very easily on the doorstep for the students they don't need to travel far if they don't wish and you know in the middle of night if they need some if they need some groceries they can certainly pop out and, and grab some Accommodation, we do have a range of accommodation. We offer accommodation on both of our campuses, Singleton and Bay, and we also have our Hendra Island Student Village and Teabeck House. Costs do range, you know, it, this is a very rough sort of approximation really of between 91 and 195 pounds per week. And that really depends on a couple of different factors depending on the type of accommodation um, and uh, you know wh where exactly the students are going to be located and uh, there are options if the students want to perhaps you know apply for accommodation that is a designated area for example single sex and um, perhaps you no know, alcohol or a quieter area that is something that they that they can apply for and that accommodation would be you know they'd guaranteed accommodation with us as long as they you know, apply within the time which is before the end of June every academic year. So obviously for further information you can come to our accommodation website. And this is, you know, just to sort of show you how how good um, we are as a university and as faculty. We do, you know, we do pride ourselves on being able to provide the students with fantastic research quality, teaching quality, as designated by the top left rating of TEF Gold. That shows the students what kind of level of education they can they can expect from Swansea University, and they do have access to a fantastic research environment. And see, voted you know first in the UK for for that, and sixth in the UK for student experience. Experience. So that gives you some indication really of the, of the quality that they can expect from Swansea University and from us as a faculty. I'm now going to pass over to Cecilia who will go through our, um, our specific sort of courses. Thank you, Bethany. Hi, everyone. Great to see so many of you on the call today. Um, so I'm just going to go over a bit of information about our faculty. Um, and also today we've decided to focus on both of our courses in biochemistry and genetics. So I'm going to give you a brief view about that. So um, feel free to pop any questions in Q&A. Um, if you've got any as we are talking, we can come to those at the end of the session. So firstly, talking about the faculty. So we're in the Faculty of Medicine, Health and Life Science. Um, our mission is to have a global reach and impact um, looking at improving the health, well-being and the wealth of society through research, education and innovation. And um, within the faculty, we've got three schools. So we have the School of, School of Health and Social Care. We've got the Medical School and also the School of Psychology. So today we're going to be focusing on biochemistry and genetics the medical school. Within the faculty, we've also got a range of expertise um, building on the education that we provide to students uh, by research, etc. So, um, drawing together from discipline of public health and um, ally health, nursing, social care, um, psychology, medicine, pharmacy, life sciences, and a lot more. And quite a few of our courses are accredited by professional bodies. Next slide, please. And this seems to give you a flavor of um, the range of facilities that we have within the faculty. One thing to highlight is um, you may have already heard of our Pathways to Medicine offering um, because we train medical students within the faculty. We have very close relationship, close partnership with our local health boards of the um, local hospital Singleton teaching unit. Uh, Singleton Hospital is a stone away from actually one of our buildings um, and then the other uh, main hospital within Swansea, the Morriston Hospital, is 20-30 minutes from Singleton campus so we've got a very close affiliation to both of these local hospitals. And then um, some examples of our facilities at the bottom of the page there as well. So we've got our MRI machine, we've got our clinical practice suites, and we've got our new medicine, and our Centre for Nano Health Research Centre, and some of the um, facilities in there, and um, also mass spec. These are the a, a range of sort of facilities a student will have access to while they're studying with us at the faculty. Next slide, please. 
So I've mentioned earlier that we focus on biochemistry and genetics. The reason being that um, we have um, a foundation and also an integrated year one offer with the college, which Helen will talk about a bit later on. Uh, so within the stream of biochemistry, in genetics, you can see these are the range of topics that a student can take. So um, we offer BSc, so three years bachelor's degree. We offer M, master's of science, M, four year integrated master's degrees in a range of different um, affiliated disciplines. So they are all listed on the page here. Next slide, please. Thank you. So um, the course is taught in um, modules. There are 10 different degrees, as you saw in the previous slide available, and um, it allows students the ability to change. So, um, for example, then, you know, student may not decide at the time of enrollment that they wanted to go for an undergraduate and there'll be opportunity. They only wanted to go for a three year program, but there will be opportunity for them to move on to an MSI um, throughout the degree. Um, there are flexibility amongst the modules that student could pick at the beginning one, um, one of the degrees and then decide to change. But then what we would advise students is to make sure that they are actually certain on which degree they wanted to do really closer to the start of the course so they can join and focus on that particular topic. In terms of assessment and how the courses are taught, so there will be large lectures, there will be small lectures as well, there will be practical experience, tutorials in small group, also research projects. So approximately 4% of the assessments within the courses are done by coursework. Next slide, please. We are now going to give you a flavour of some of the modules that will be offered within the medical biochemistry programme. Um, so you have on the screen here um, the range of topics that are covered in year one and year two. So what biochemistry is, is basically looking at the chemical processes within a living system. So by doing this course, students will have the skills and knowledge to understand how cells work at the molecular level. So this is a lab-based program and it will bring together both biology so learning about chemical knowledges and techniques to solve biological problems. Students that are going on to work as a biochemist, for example, they'll be studying um, the chemical processes and interactions that underpins the biological and living organism. So a large part of their work will involve the use of molecular techniques uh, to solve. So um, they're quite important to understand how life works um, disease progression and also prevention so um to do in this course as well on, on if they if they choose to become a biochemist they would work alongside scientists in other fields they could work alongside healthcare professionals policy makers educators and industrial partners and quite a wide impact on the knowledge that they will achieve from this course next slide please And then moving on to year three of a biochemistry, medical biochemistry course. And these are some of the modules that they would do. And then they'll also do a final research project in the, in the last year. Next slide, please. And then covering a bit about genetics, again, year one and year two modules, and then we'll move on to year three and also final year project on here. So you get a bit of a flavor of the topics that students will study within this course. Um, for genetics, we're looking at is a branch of biology that specifically look at genes, um, looking at heredity in living organisms. So studying DNA and how they work. Um, and in more recent years, then the field of genetics um, has been used to understand what happens when gene doesn't work or their associated products don't work as they're supposed to be. Um, so leading to things like genetic disorders, cancers, other sort of illnesses as well. So um, medical genetics, for example, is making an enormous impact at the moment on diagnosing and also treatment of human diseases. And a lot of medical doctors, for example, if they go on to be involved in research and um, after being trained to become a doctor, they would focus on the genetic aspect of human health and diseases. So for example, things like personalized medicine. Next slide, please. So 
within the three year program, then again, um, they would also have the opportunity to pick a final research project and um, to sort of get more experience and to further advance their research skill as part of the degree. Next slide, please. So on this page, you see um, a flavor of all the different um, research topics that our students have done within, within the courses. Um, it's a quite a wide range of topics. So as you can see, you can see drug discovery, pharmace pharmacogenetics, um, going on to Center for Nano Health, Infectious Disease, Fertility, Immunity, um, Microbiology. So it's a quite a wide range of topics. And also, you know, we talked about disease um, detection, things like that. So diabetes, nanomedicine, cancer. So um, students doing either of these programs will have quite a wide range of topics that they could cover based on their interest in the final research project. And they'll have a range of experts and um, supervisors within the faculty to, super, uh, to help them and guide them through that re final research project. Next slide, please. Okay, so for our biochemistry and genetics modules as well, there'll be the options for students to look at either they would do a three year BSc degree or an MSI a four year integrated master's degree. So what is the difference? So the three years, for, within the three years, years ones and twos are exactly the same. And for the students that are choosing to look at a BSc degree, they would then look at a year three module, year three modules in the final year and also doing their final lab research project in year three. For students that are choosing the four year integrated masters of science degree, then in year three, they would actually have more um, specialist lab techniques training, as well as some year three modules, and then they'll progress onto an advanced research project in the final year. So they've got a bit of a longer lead time in terms of learning a more advanced lab te techniques, more advanced research techniques, and then focusing a bit of a longer period on their final research project. So I've mentioned earlier that there are flexibility within, within these two courses. Um, Bethany, if you don't mind, just doing a, a click for me, please. So students, for example, if they are applying and at the time of application, they were not um, eligible to go for the MSI degree, they could enter on as a BSc degree, as long as they achieve at least 60% overall in their first year and their second year, they will have the option of changing over to an MSI degree. Um, so student, for example, could, may, may not have an idea to do this, they might just initially want to do three years to start, and then later on, um, learn a little bit more about the subject and then decided that they do want to specialize in the research field and learn a bit more about the lab techniques, they've got the flexibility to be able to change it over to the MSI degree as long as they achieve 60% overall. So the MSI model really are designed for students who are interested, for example, to go into further research or actually working in the industry because it really then builds up their skills in their lab techniques and also further advanced research skills. Next slide, please. And just to cover a little bit about our pathways to medicine degree, so both medical genetics and medical biochemistry are our pathways to medicine degrees. What that means is for students that are interested in going into medicine, um, in the second year, they will undertake a dedicated module called Doctors, Patients and Goal of Medicine, where, where they would um, have an insight into what being a doctor is like, um, learning about um, the relationship between doctors and patients. There'll be some specialist um, preparation for application, for interview, things like that. And um, if they go through the this um, second year module meeting all of our minimum requirements, they will be offered a guaranteed interview to the four year accelerated graduate entry medicine program. So this is an alternative route um, to go into medicine. Um, so they'll first do a three years bachelor's degree. There'll be a specialist module that will prepare them for medicine and they could gain a guaranteed interview. Um, it's, it's a good option for students because it allows them to build a more solid foundation, an academic foundation, and um, learning a little bit more about a topic that they are interested in for three years, specialist, specialising at degree level before advancing into medicine. Um, 
another advantage of that is also that they get to be a student for the first year of their degree rather than going straight into really intensive um, field like medicine. Um, so the pathways to medicine degree would um, would allow students then to sort of have the culture to, to understand the culture within the medical school to have closer link with our current medical students quite often our medical students do um, offer training sessions for undergraduate students as well including things like training for um, how to present yourself at the interview how to sit the GAMSA and you know tips for sitting the GAMSA exam or the MCAT exam um, things like that so this is another route um, for career progression if students are interested in training to be a doctor. Next slide, please. And on this page then, um, for the degree um, that student could take, apart from training to be a doctor, training to be a healthcare professional, this is just a range of different career options that students could be qualified for on completion of the degree. So include things like working in the pharmaceutical industry, working in biotech, um, working in teaching and research, um, health, promo health promotion, in policies, in um, scientific management and pu publicity, a range of different um, careers. So it sort of indicates how transferable the skills that students will be have learned throughout the three years degree. Next slide. So here we've got our list um, of uh, sort of all a lot of the undergraduate programs aside from the uh, sort of pathways to medicine and graduate entry medicine that we offer to our international applicants. So if you are speaking with students who are considering, you know, applying for any other um, undergraduate programs, perhaps you know, adult nursing, osteopathy, or any of our psychology um, undergraduate programs, then you know we we do we do offer those. And you know, look, looking further on, if you are speaking to perhaps students who are considering either looking at postgraduate taught programmes initially, or just you know considering some whether they can perhaps you know go for an, as an undergraduate with a potential to move on to postgraduate taught programmes, then you know this gives a range. Um, as you can see, they're listed under each of our relevant schools, but they do give an indication of the range of additional um, things that we cover. You can see that the courses that are typically available in both January and September, you know, th those are indicated in green. Um, so that would give you two entry points for the academic year. Alternatively, um, the ones that are not highlighted are generally just one intake per academic year, which would be in the September. But, you know, please do for the most up to date kind of information on when those programs are available, please do refer to our website, you can see the web page link there. And you know, that will give you the most up to date of, you know, which programs are actually available for for January entry, in addition to the usual September entry. And if perhaps postgraduate research is something that is interesting to some of your students, we do have an absolutely comprehensive and extensive list of research options for them. Um, I think this is only a portion of some of the ones we offer. So, you know, by all means, if you if you are speaking to students who are interested, um, you know, definitely please refer them to that uh, that email address there, pgr-medicinehealthlifescience at swansea.ac.uk, and they will be able to discuss all of the sort of research programmes and how you know how viable those um, those may be for your students. That we do have a number of uh, you know number of programs that are not currently accepting international applicants. You can see those broken down under you know the undergraduate list there, and also our postgraduate list on the right hand side. So these are are not currently open to you know, international applications. But if you are unsure about which you know undergraduate or postgraduate programs are welcoming international applications, then please do email us. The our contact details will be at the on our final slide. Um, so please do give us an email, and we'll be able to indicate whether your international students are able to apply for that particular program. 
This is a very, you know, it's a very broad kind of table just to give you a very rough idea of what a typical offer would be with Swansea University um, and our faculty. We've, we do accept a lot of uh, equivalencies, whether that be for academic or English requirements. So, you know, you can see here, um, you know, a very rough indication of, you know, what an A-level or IB score might, um, might be. But do be aware that some courses, you know, will have specific subject requirements, you know, they might be specific for you know, different levels levels of academic achievement so you know please do have a look at those those that are specific to to your you know student in question and you know by all means please the best thing to do is to refer to the links that you can see at the bottom of this table for overseas equivalencies they will give you the entire list of uh, both equivalencies for academic requirements and that will be listed you know by by specific country that, that perhaps your student is coming from or it will give you the specific language requirements you know that we will accept as an, as an, as an equivalency. Tuition fee, um, again, we have specifically focused within this webinar you know, on biochemistry or genetics, but this is quite a true indication um, for many of our undergraduate international courses. So this, you know, biochemistry and genetics are both sort of 19,600 for, for the academic year, um, September 2022. Um, be aware that we do also offer a number of you know, scholarships that are available and open for international students to apply for, one of the, which being being the International Excellence Scholarship, which offers you know, up to £6,000 for, for undergraduate and up to £4,000 for postgraduate. And our international students are able to apply to those. But just to note that these scholarships are only open to individuals applying directly to Swansea University. And finally, thank you very much for, for, for joining us. This is, you know, the sort of that's our section in terms of Swansea University's Faculty of Medicine, Health and Life Science um, complete. Um, as I mentioned earlier, please, if you do have any queries after this webinar, whether it be on a specific case or specific programmes, then please do send us an email on studyfmhls at swansea.ac.uk. Um, I'm now going to pass you over to Helen, who's going to discuss the college. Thank you, Bethany. Thank you, Cecilia. So my name is Helen. I'm the student recruitment coordinator at the college. Um, so as Navitas um, you know, agents, you may already know that we are a joint venture with the university, which means that we offer students so, uh, from all over the world um, the opportunity to study at Swansea University. And then we provide pathway programs that bridge the gap between the qualifications that student may have and you know between the qualification and entry requirements um, you know going directly to the university so for students who may need a pathway we are the places to go to and then um, as you can see um, from the previous slides we are literally on the beach and then i can say that our academic building is is literally the you know closest building to um, the beach around the world no exaggeration, as uh, Bethany just said, because we are just literally there. Can I have next slide, please? Um, so why would you study with TCSU? I've listed um, a few bullet points here. Um, basically, since once University is our partner university, um, all the staff and stu uh, students here at the college enjoy, you know, a really extraordinary level of integration with Swansea. Um, we are on, uh, we are located at the heart of the Bay Campus, and then. Um, as I just said, we are one of the academic colleges and then our students are students of the Swansea University from day one. They will have the same student ID, they, have the, they use the same system, and then when they finish their pathway, um, the transition is as smooth as possible. They're not going to uh, use a different system or, you know, be assigned with a different ID so that, um, you know, it's as smooth as possible for students. Um, we do have a really high progression rate, and then for those 5% missing out, there may be you know, due to different circumstances, students may fail, but they will always have a chance to either retake or receive the modules, um, depend, depending on what the situations are. And then um, we have outstanding supports. And then compared to the, you know, the beast that is to Swansea University, we are a smaller college so that we have small class sizes. And then every student will be assigned with a personal tutor as well, so that this personal tutor will be their uh, point of contact from day one. Anything that they wanted to, you know, talk about, um, maybe concerns, maybe, you know, there's something to do with timetables and um, they can go to their personal tutor. 
and then it's a it's a relatively safe environment as well because we are on we're on campus and then if students are choosing to live on campus um, they don't have to go um, to the city center um, basically they can they can just stay on campus if they wish to although we do encourage students to you know explore uh, Swansea and explore Wales as, as often as they can and can I have, oh, right, we have multiple entry points. So for our pathway for foundation program, um, we have all the intake points, which is from September or November, January, or May's last June intake. We do have multiple intakes, depending on which subject the students are studying. And then um, not all the year ones have got all these options. Um, for example, if students are hoping to study um, biochemistry, we only have September intake because that will be an integrated year one uh, program uh, with the university. Can I have next slide, please? So here you can see that uh, we offer both undergraduate uh, pathways and postgraduate pathways. Uh, for undergraduate pathways, apart from law, we only have foundation. All the subjects that you see here, we offer both foundation and international year one. And for postgraduate, uh, we offer pre-masters. So um, in case you don't know what a pathway is, um, basically a pathway program serves as a bridge between the qualification that a students process and, tho and those that they need in order to join Swans University. We understand that things do not always go to plan, so students may not have quite achieved the required English language or academic scores that they needed um, for the desired degree. That's that's where we come in. Um, our programs are designed to be a soft landing to degree level study at, uh, in a UK university through a combination of development of subject specific and general academic skills. We um, oh, lost the script there. Uh, we strive to ensure that all of our students are you know, at the best prepared as possible for the study at Swansea. Um, a pathway program at the college, um, you will see that is that you will study some modules devoted to your subject area. Um, of interest and then other modules focusing on academic skills, things like critical thinking, communication skills, and then knowing how to write um, an essay uh, is just as important as knowing, you know, ins and outs of, um, you know, biochemistry or genetics and, you know, all that essential skills for success at when, you, when the student are progressing on to their next level of study uh, with the university. Um, our supportive modules focusing um, on you know boosting up the skills um, so that the students' university journey, uh, university experience turns into you know as rounded a student as it could be. Um, ultimately, our pathway program helps to prepare them for the degree level study um, while it's offering an you know extra layer of supports um, in ever every aspect uh, of their study with us. Um, can I have next slide, please? Uh, so I've listed here um, for our entry requirements um, so that um, you can, you, as always, if you have any, you know, specific questions, PC is the guy to, you know, talk to, and you're also welcome to come to me as well. And all our programs, now we have lowered our IELTS requirements, so all our uh, requirements has been lowered to 5.5 overall or equivalent. For example, if your student has finished a Malaysia high school a certificate, we will look at the school living certificate for sure. If we can waive the IELTS, it's not always IELTS. Uh, we also look at school living certificates or if they have other language um, you know, qualifications, we'll look at that as well. Um, I believe the requirements are quite straightforward, so I'm not going to go through all of them. Can I have the next slide, please? So English language, as I just said, um, if student, you know, happens to not, not doing so well from their high school um, qualifications, uh, they can take SWOW, which is um, internal English test that is offered by the university. At the moment, it's free for all offer holders. Um, so as long as they have an offer with us or with the university directly, they can take SWOW for free. And for in some cases, students may be wanting to, you know, study precessional English. Um, that's up to them, or in some cases, maybe student wanted to study a slightly lower NQF level foundation with us as a pathway, that's also an option. And as I just said, we, we do accept a wide range of um, English language qualifications, and then I've popped the links here so that you can have a, have a look. Can I have a next slide, please? Uh, academic and student experience team is uh, what I just mentioned about uh, personal tutors. So we will assign a personal tutor. This is the same when students progress on to university as well, I believe. So all students will have a personal tutor. And then um, basically they will guide students through from enrollment 
um, to, you know, when they finish uh, their pathway program with us. And then a lot of students tend to stay in touch. We don't just, you know, chuck them away and say bye when they finish with us. We'd always welcome students to come back and talk to us about, you know, how they're doing. And then, but why, why are they with us? Um, apart from the, you know, amazing support that Swansea University provides, uh, for example, on at, at campus life supports, um, we also provide that, you know, an in-college support to students. So either be, you know, timetabling issues or exam arrangements, or maybe they're having um, difficulties, you know, for attending, for attending their lectures, um, just their experience in general. We wanted students to get as much out as possible um, when they're studying with us. Um, so yeah, support is, we, we always here ready to support students is, is, is all we do. And can I have the next slide, please? Okay, so for bursaries, uh, we do have two bursaries depending on um, where the students are coming from. So one is called Aspired and then the uh, Aspire, and then the other is called Thrive. So I can see that, for example, if your student is from Malaysia, um, they will be entitled to a £3,000 bursary. Um, both bursaries are automatically applied onto the offer when they um, get an offer from us for the pathway program. They don't have to apply separately. Um, as long as our admissions see the supporting documents, for example, their passports, this will be applied onto their offer um, directly. Can I have the next slide, please? Oh, I, do, I do need to mention that bursary is only for uh, deducting the from within the first year of study. It's not all, it's not all the years when they're in uh, Swansea University. So I've um, copy and paste, uh, you know, cost of living um, for, you know, for your reference. Um, this is based on maybe student wanted to uh, study, well, not study, well, study and live on campus. So you have a rough idea about how much the, you know, living will be cost. So rent wise, if they're living on campus, either Bay Campus or Singleton Park Campus, um, everything is included in the rent. So they don't have to pay extra for gas or electricity, water, et cetera, et cetera. It's all included if they're living on campus. Um, it's quite different when they're living off campus. There are quite a lot of options as well. And students who are just coming into UK for the first year of study, uh, for example, studying with us for foundation, usually they will choose to live on campus so that, you know, there's less to worry about. But for the second year of study or, you know, the third or fourth year, they may choose to live off campus. There's quite a lot of options. Uh, but as, you know, the previous slides mentioned, Swansea in general is very low cost of living. So it, money does go a long way. Can I have the next slide, please? And then uh, this is our tuition fee table. Um, it may not make sense, um, but this is just wanted to give you a sort of an idea of, you know, the range of the tuition fee that our pathway program would cost. Um, our pathway program starts from, you know, one semester to two, uh, to two semesters, three semesters, um, all depending on which, you know, entry point students are coming in, which subjects and uh, which intake uh, they're coming in. So there, there is a range of different uh, fees. Uh, but as you can see, it's, it's quite reasonable, I would say. And can I have the next slide, please? Ah, okay, so we're on social media. And then if you do want to get in touch, please feel free to. And then for students who are particularly interested in um, a pathway to medical uh, chemistry, so for uh, the, general, the graduate entry medicine, uh, routes, uh, they are able to study a pathway with us and then go and pursue this um, with the university. But please remember that we will require students to have, uh, you know, as much, much math as possible because they, they will have to be interested in numbers uh, to begin with for that program. And then we do, we also have a Chinese um, website. It's still in developing. It is live, um, but uh, not all the information that are there. So if you wanted to um, ask a question, please feel free to contact PC's team or myself. Um, and then, yes, just please follow us on social media. Thank you. I think that's probably the last slide. Yeah. Thanks very much, Helen. Just to sort of round off, um, I've provided all of the um, Navitas contact information there. So you can certainly get in touch with, you know, regional or area managers that are most sort of relevant to, to you. Um, you know, you certainly make a note of those. I'm just going to stop the um, recording and then give you the opportunity then to, um, to ask any sort of questions.